announcement. There is a car registration number KL0955. Uh, that car is blocking the way. Can you please remove it? KL0955. Announcement. I request all the friends and relatives to please move in and we will begin the service shortly. I request all the friends and relatives to move in. We will begin the service shortly. Excuse me, KL71L0955, the car is parked there, could you please uh, move that so that the other cars can go in, KL71055 please, thank you.
to grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Good afternoon, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, on behalf of all the priests here on the altar, I express my heartfelt condolences to the family, sons or daughters, and nieces, brothers, friends, all of you gathered here. We have gathered here in this church to pray for Rosamma and, so, and to say goodbye and to recall the time, the love, and everything that she shared with each one of us during her lifetime. The great dividing line of our existence in this world is the gap between life and death. There is nothing extraordinary about dying and about death. It's one of the most natural things in the world. Once we accept life, we accept too that life will end. That one day or someday, somewhere, sometime, someone will attend our funeral someone will stand by our grave. We also know that winter follows spring, decay follows growth, and death is the final act of life. Therefore today, the Lord tells each one of us through the book of Wisdom, chapter 3, verse 1. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, 
when someone dies after a long life, we feel that there is some easing of the sorrow of bereavement. Rosama Vagis lived her good span of years and she has gone back to God and we are gathered here this afternoon to recall her goodness, the time that she spent with each one of you, especially the family members, the you know, sons, brothers, and she lived a long life, a good life. And I even used to see her sitting in the front row, a faithful woman. Today we are here to say goodbye, to say thank you, and ask the Lord to take care of her, that her life here on earth is over. And let's also pray for the soul, pray for the family members, the children, brothers, and all of us, that God may give us comfort and consolation, and that we, he may also help us to prepare for our day. And in order to take part in this Eucharistic celebration in a worthy manner, let's call to mind all our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. nature is always to forgive and to show mercy. We humbly implore you for your servant, Rosa Mavogis, whom you have called to journey to you, and since she hoped and believed in you, grant that she may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord will swallow up death forever. The Lord will swallow up death forever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 25, verses 6 to 9. On that day, on this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of rich food. 
and he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast all over all people, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the God. Thanks be to God. for the gospel acclamation. Said to Jesus, 
Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give to you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Father John Job Waiket, nephew of Rosama auntie, Rosama Varghese, my auntie. I am working as a Salesian of Don Bosco in the province of Calcutta. Uh, I begin with a note of condolences to my cousin brothers, Georgie and Rani, Johnny and his family. Tommy and his family, Jacob and his family, and my father, uh, my fa maternal family, there were five sisters and six brothers. And those who are alive here, two of them are here, N.C. Rajan, my uncle, and Lolama, my, my auntie, others who are not going to come, Amni auntie, and Kutupanachan. I offer my deepest condolences to them. My memory, just last year, in July I had come to Bangalore, I had spent five days. Usually I come there, I remain with my cousin, brother, brother Georgie. And this time I was with my auntie. I spent five wonderful days with her. And it was just after the COVID. So she was not going to church. So she felt the need to receive Jesus. So I arranged, organized to have a mass in the family. Three days I, I was with her, offered mass for her. She was very happy. That was my last, last experience of being with her. You know, life is short. One is born into the world at the behest of the Almighty. Second, that at some point everyone will die, as the, at the introduction we were told. And the reward in the next life depends on how one has lived between the first and second date. The two dates are usually written with a dash in between. That little dash represents the time we spent on earth. Linda Ellis spent a poem on that little dash. That is an ex uh, this is an ex ex excerpt. She noted that first came the date of birth and spoke the following dates with tears. But she said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that they spend alive on earth. And now only those who love them and know what little life is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. Back in my mission center, when I tell my poor people, yeah, they have nothing, I say, whatever you are doing, plowing, working, working for family, you have to leave everything. Everything you have to leave. Nothing you carry. So what happens? 
it is like uh, when we die then we are like a child crying for a mother we become aware of god as the only point of our existence and so i tell them you have to keep in touch with god otherwise in other world other life you will be far away from him you will not experience him for all the people gathered here including those electronically present and all those who conveyed the condolences and grief that the little dash between the dates 18th april 1978 1936 the year my auntie was born and 17 march 2024 the date on sheep went to eternity to present a well lived life full of love dedication and service to family friends and society in general sometimes in the dash are the points in time each and every one of us were touched by the actions of rosamma varghi that little dash also covers the time she came to bangalore barely in her 20s a shy kerala educated girl metamorphosed into a respected member of the hal community an entrepreneur a farmer uh, an administrator while being the de facto head of the extended family in bangalore my earliest memory goes to the age of 6 when she was getting married in 1956 i remember being in the direct family over i was a small child she was preparing because i didn't go for the wedding in irinjala kuda each one of us would have a favorite story of anecdote about ammai that all they in that dash as is her primary role as mother of four children the maternal responsibilities and care she extended to dozens of nephews and nieces who came to study in bangalore in the 60s the dash and and capsulates all the fond memories of time she stayed at number 2 hal senior office quarters i did my theology here in bangalore 1975 to 78 so i used to visit her home and she had a she used to give to our students of theology ice cream remember all that she moved into koramangala and finally to krishna lila and the numerous lunches dinners celebrations at these places at bristol cottage farm house and the scrabble and the card games and the just sitting around and chatting about everything in general and nothing in particular that tiny little dash represents 88 years of achievement touching the lives of many people deserving perhaps a brief morning cycle of joyous celebration for a life well lived and a time well spent going back to the gospel we remember jesus asking martha do you believe will rise again that is our hope resurrection is our hope is faith on our faith belief and so we prepare ourselves for that she asked her, do you believe in the resurrection i am the resurrection and the life and she said yes lord i believe you are the christ the son of god who is coming into the world i was just told she was privileged before she died she received the sacrament of anointing uh, these are the sacraments which you receive prepare us for eternal life let's ask the lord to help us to pray for her pray to her to intercede for our family our people and may the soul of rosa bavargis rest in peace amen kindly stand for the prayer of the prayers of the faithful let us in faith call upon god the almighty father 
who raised Christ his son from the dead as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. For the church that the Pope, bishops, and all the church leaders will, as humble servants, continually seek God's wisdom and guidance, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Our Amama, Rosama Vergis, touched all our lives. Help us keep alive the values and the ideals she put before us, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We pray in thanksgiving for all the blessings that came to so many people through the life of our mama. May she now receive the fullness of God's blessings in, etern in eternity, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. We pray for all who are gathered here in worship, especially for her family. May our own lives bear witness to the generous love of Lord who lived, died, and rose from the dead so that we may have life and have it to the full, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. We pray for all our departed brothers and sisters, especially for our Apapin, T.V. Varid, to be reunited with our mama in God's kingdom, where there is no more pain and suffering, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. God of all consolation, help us in our grief to comfort one another. May we find light in time of darkness and faith in time of doubt, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We now once again pray for our mama. In baptism, she was given the pledge of eternal life. May she now be admitted to the company of saints, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. Let us also pause for a while and offer our own prayers and petitions for the soul of Rosama. May the praise of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them sharers in your redemption. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Rosa Mavogis, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory and with him called back into life. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and enter willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. With Francis Rapu, Peter Machado, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Rosanma Varghese, whom you have called today, at this, these days, from this world to yourself. Grant her, grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also become one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co host to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. For the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Thy your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done, on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into, into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, sickness and dangers. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to share in his banquet. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ 
keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
um, dear Amini Parama, Kotopanachan, Lalamamai, Rajpanachan, the Tekatala family, the Nareet family, and all of mom's friends. Let us not grieve today. Let us not mourn. Rather, let us celebrate the life of a mother, a grandmother, a sister, an aunt, and a dear friend. Let us celebrate the life of a woman of unparalleled integrity and honor. Mom was born in the large Nareth family. She and her four sisters were beloved by their parents. Mom tells the story of how when she came back from college, she'd be reading a book in her room and her mother, Velimichi, would say, go to the kitchen and learn to cook. Her father would say, she's not going to be working in any kitchen when she grows up. And he was right. Her father must have been overflowed with pride and joy when he sent her a telegram to the UK telling her that she had won the gold medal for her bachelor's degree in mathematics. When she came back, he drove her to college to collect that medal. He was incredibly proud of his daughters, the Nareth sisters. Mom told her father that she wanted to marry a man who was more educated than herself. And so she married my dad, an aerospace engine designer from the Tekatala family. Mom was dad's pillar of strength. She wrapped him with tender love and care for a very long life of dreams fulfilled and lots of accomplishment. Mom was fiercely independent and extremely confident. In fact, she started an ice cream business and then a leather manufacturing unit that employed women only from neighboring villages. Later in life, she invested in real estate and was quite successful. She also became the president of the Krishna Lilac Owners Association. She impressed all the owners with her ingenious ideas. In fact, they wanted to name her President for Life. Although she often called out her son's foolishness, all of four of us, as Mandatram, she really adored her grandchildren. She was there when they were born, she nurtured them when they were young. She came to their graduations and other milestones. She hosted us all for Christmas and the holidays with elaborate daily menus, so we all enjoyed our favorite food and desserts. She taught the grandkids some gardening, and she really enjoyed playing Scrabble and cards with them. Now, she always played for small stakes. So even though their grandmother moved slowly, her mind was far from slow because she usually picked their pockets of their pocket money every week, playing cards with them. She came to the US frequently. She shopped, she went out to dinner with us, she visited family and friends. My favorite time with her was when we would go to Manhattan for the theater and dinner. Because the streets were overcrowded, 
I would always find myself holding her hand as we walked through the hustle and bustle of Times Square to go to the theater or to dinner. In those moments, as I held her hand walking on those streets, I felt so incredibly close to her and protective of her. I realized over the last six weeks that although she was a very strong and independent woman, she survived and enjoyed the love, care, and protection of all our cousins and family all over India and in the US. In her last days, as her frail arms reached out to embrace me, her body crumbling, her mind full of life and love, she said, I am sorry, Monet. These were her last words to me. She gave so much of herself to each of us that all our extended family loved her back with equal measure. So let us raise a toast to my mother, to Amai, to your friend. Mom, we love you in a place where there is no time or space. We love you because we are a part of you and you will be a part of us forever. Thank you, Thomas, for that beautiful eulogy. And uh, once again, I extend my heartfelt condolences to the family members. I know George and uh, Rani recently. I met him in one of the funerals, and he was talking about it. And today we are here for the funeral. So may God be with you, give you comfort and strength to accept this reality. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Rosa Mavogis may come to the eternal table of Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our sister, Rosamma Vagis, to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may she be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the Eternal King.
Our response is, receive her soul and present her to the God, the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God, the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid. Come to meet her, angels of the Lord. Our response, receive her soul and present her to God, the Most High. May Christ who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Give her eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on her forever. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our sister, Rosamma Varghese. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, she will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessing you gave her in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord. Welcome our sister to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. ിമിതി <laughs> ുംകുന്നു <laughs> ീർത്തനങ്ങൾ പാടും മൃതരാമരരുടെ പാപങ്ങൾ മാറ്റണമേ നിൻ കൃപയാലേ മാമോദി സാ വഴിയങ്ങേ സുതരാണവരൻ നോർക്കണമേ അവരിൽ ആരും അവശേഷിച്ചില്ല മഴ പെയ്യുമ്പോൾ വയലുകളിൽ വിത്തുകൾ പൊട്ടി മുളയ്ക്കുന്നു കാകളനാറം കേൾക്കുമ്പോൾ മൃതരിൽ ജീവനുദിക്കുന്നു 
പിതാവിനും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനും സ്തുതി ബാബാപുത്രൻ രൂപായി മൃതനാവിൻ്റെ കനിയേണം ജീവൻ നൽകി മഹോന്നതമാ പ്രഭയുടെ നാട്ടിൽ ചേർക്കേണം ആദ്യ മുതൽ നീക്കുവാമേൻ തെളിവായ എന്നുടെ നാഥാദിൻ തിരുമിഴിയെല്ലാം കാണുന്നു നിരവധിയാമൻ പാപങ്ങൾ കർത്താവേ നിന്റെ കരുണ ഞങ്ങളെ അനുഗമിക്കുകയും നിന്റെ ദയാദിക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ പാപങ്ങൾ മായ്ച്ചുകളെയും ചെയ്യുമാറാകട്ടെ മകനീയമായ നിന്റെ ത്രീത്വത്തിന്റെ അനുഗ്രഹം ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കുമാറാകട്ടെ ജീവന്റെ മരണത്തിന്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വര അമേ കർത്താവേ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ കർത്താവേ നീ മരിച്ച നീ ആകാശത്തിനും ഭൂമിയിലും സ്തുത്യർഹനാകുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവന്റെ കാരണവും ആത്മാവിന്റെ പ്രത്യാശയും നീ ആകുന്നു ജീവന്റെയും മരണത്തിന്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധ ആത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വര കൈക്കൊള്ളണമേ ഹൃദയംഗമമാം വിശ്വാസമുടെ ദാസർ ചെയ്യും ബലിയൻ നാഥ തിരുസന്നിധിയിൽ കൈക്കൊള്ളണമേ ഹൃദയംഗമമാം വിശ്വാസമുടെ ദാസൻ ചെയ്യും ബലിയൻ നാഥ തിരുസന്നിധിയിൽ പൂർവന്മാരാം നോഹപരാഗം ഇസഹാക്യാക്കോ മഹിതാശേതൻ പരിപാവനമാം ബലികൾ പോലെ കൈക്കൊള്ളണമേ ഹൃദയംഗമമാം വിശ്വാസമുടെ ദാസൻ ചെയ്യും ബലിയന്നാഥ തിരുസന്നിധിയിൽ പുരുവത്സലരാം സ്ലീകരുമൊരുപോൽ വിനയാൻ വിതരായ് തവ സന്നിധിയിൽ ചെയ്തൊരു നവമാം ോ നാഥ കൈക്കൊള്ളണമേ ഹൃദയംഗമമാ വിശ്വാസമുടെ ദാസൻ ചെയ്യും ബലിയൻ നാഥ തിരുസന്നിധിൽ അഗാധത്തിന് ഞാൻ വിളിക്കുന്നു മരിച്ചവരെ ഉയർപ്പിക്കുന്നവനെ എന്തിന്റെ തിരുനാമത്തിന് സ്തുതി അഗാധത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ഞാൻ നിന്നെ വിളിക്കുന്നു എന്റെ പ്രാർത്ഥന ചെവി കൊള്ളണമേ നീ പാപങ്ങളെല്ലാം ഓർത്തിക്കുമെങ്കിൽ ആർക്ക് രക്ഷയുണ്ടാകും എന്തുകൊണ്ടെന്നാൽ പാപമോചനം നിന്റെ പക്കൽ നിന്നാകുന്നുവല്ലോ കർത്താവിൽ ഞാൻ ശരണപ്പെടുന്നു എന്റെ പ്രതീക്ഷ അവന്റെ വാഗ്ദാനത്തിലാകുന്നു കാത്തിരിക്കുന്ന കാവൽക്കാരെ പോലെ കർത്താവെ നിന്ന് ഞാൻ കാത്തിരിക്കുന്നു പുലരയാവാൻ കാത്തിരിക്കുന്ന കാവൽക്കാരെ പോലെ ഇസ്രായേലും കർത്താവിനെ കാത്തിരിക്കുന്നു എന്തുകൊണ്ടെന്നാൽ അവൻ കരുണയുള്ളവനാകുന്നു പൂർണ്ണമായ രക്ഷയും അവന്റെ പക്കലാകുന്നു പാപങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നെല്ലാം അവൻ രക്ഷിക്കും പിതാവനും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവനും സ്തുതി സജീവവും ജീവദായകവുമായ ശബ്ദത്താൽ ആസനെ ഏർപ്പിച്ച കർത്താവെ ആ ശബ്ദം മഹനീയമായ നീതിവിധിയുടെ ദിവസത്തിൽ നിന്റെ ദാസരെ വിളിക്കും ദാസ്യെ വിളിക്കുകയും നിന്റെ ബലദഭാവം നിർത്തുകയും ചെയ്യട്ടെ പാപങ്ങൾ പെറുക്കുന്നതിനും കരണ നിറഞ്ഞവനും നീതിമാനുമായ വിധികർത്താവെ ജീവന്റെയും മരണത്തിൻ്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വര അമേൻ കർത്താവെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ കർത്താവെ മരിച്ചവരെ നീ കരുണാപൂർവം ജീവിപ്പിക്കണമേ ജീവിക്കുന്നവരെ ദയാപൂർവം പരിപാലിക്കണമേ ഉത്ഥാന പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ച് മരണമടഞ്ഞവരെ മഹിമയുടെ ഉയർപ്പിക്കണമേ ജീവന്റെയും മരണത്തിൻ്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വര അമേൻ കർത്താവെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ കാരുണ്യവാനും മനുഷ്യവംശത്തിൻ്റെ രക്ഷകനുമായ ദൈവമേ അഭേദ്യമായ നിന്റെ കൽപ്പനയനുസരിച്ച് മരണം വഴി ലോകത്തിൽ നിന്ന് വേർപിരിഞ്ഞു പോയ നിന്റെ ദാസിയുടെ ആത്മാവിനെ വിശുദ്ധരുടെ സമൂഹത്തിൽ പ്രവേശിപ്പിക്കണമേ നീതിമാന്മാരെ സ്വർഗീയ മണവറയിലേക്ക് നയിക്കുവാനായി വാനമേഘങ്ങളെ നീ മഹത്വത്തോടു കൂടെ ആക്കുന്നതിനാകുമ്പോൾ കണ്ണു കണ്ടിട്ടില്ലാത്തതും കാതു കേട്ടിട്ടില്ലാത്തതും മനുഷ്യഹൃദയം ആസ്വദിച്ചിട്ടില്ലാത്തതുമായ 
നിത്യാനന്ദത്തിലേക്ക് ഈ ആത്മാവിനെയും നീ സ്വീകരിക്കണമേ അവിടെ നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധരോടുകൂടെ സന്തോഷപൂർവ്വം നിന്നെ പാടിപ്പുകഴ്ത്തുവാൻ വേണ്ടി നിന്റെ അനുഗ്രഹത്തിൻ്റെ ജലത്താൽ ഈ ആത്മാവിൻ്റെ കരകൾ കഴുകി വിശുദ്ധീകരിക്കണമേ ഇപ്പോഴും എപ്പോഴും എന്നേക്കും Yeah, I just wanted to uh, thank the parish priests um, as well as, and importantly, the Jesuits. Um, it's interesting that 60 years ago, mom went to the Jesuits as George was going to get admitted, and then soon Johnny Joseph, George Joseph, John, myself, Jacob, and now Mikhail Job, Job Nareth. And I'm so thankful for the Jesuits and all the work that they're doing um, in Bangalore and in rural Karnataka. So we're happy to have them, as well as the priests from the Order of St. Camillus that uh, Rani and I have worked with uh, in their various uh, projects. Now, the, um, the way to the uh, burial ground, there's a QR code on the doors. Uh, please use it because it's a little confusing. Thank you.
rise again. Give our sister Rosamma Vagis peaceful rest in this grave until that day when you, the resurrection and the life, will raise her up in glory. Then may she see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Since Almighty God has called our sister Rosama Vargis from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know that he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our sister to the Lord. May the Lord receive her into his peace and raise her up, a body, on the last day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house there are many places to live in. Otherwise, I would have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to you, I shall return to take you to myself, so that you may be with me where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Karma said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Gospel of the Lord. Your response is, put your hope in the Lord, take courage and be strong. Put your hope in the Lord, take courage and be strong. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? Your response, put your hope in the Lord, take courage and be strong. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. Your response, put your hope in the Lord, take courage and be strong. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. Your response, Put your hope in the Lord, take courage and be strong. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. Your response? Put your hope in the Lord, take courage and be strong. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. This is not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Your response? Let us pray for our sister, Rosama Vargis, to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection and the life. The man who believes in me will live even if he dies. And every living person who puts his faith in me will never suffer eternal death. Rosaba was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We ask this in faith. Your response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you wept at the death of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We ask in this faith. You raise the dead to life. Give our sister eternal life. We ask this in faith. You promised the paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister to the joys of heaven. We ask this in faith. Our sister was washed clean in baptism. 
and anointed with the oil of the salvation, give her fellowship with all your saints. We ask this in faith. Comfort us, our, uh, comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our sister. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We ask this in faith. Let's also pray and offer our last prayer at the burial. This is the last moment that you can see her. And if you have anything to offer, everything will disappear. Only our prayers will carry and will help her. So let us pause for a while. Say a small prayer in your heart for the soul of Rosa Mother Peace. And say goodbye and thank God for all the fine love that she spend and shared to the family members and the friends. to our prayers for our sister Rosama Varghese as she always desired to do your will so in your mercy forgive whatever wrong she may have done by her Christian faith she was united with all your believing people now in love and mercy give her a place with your angels and saints we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Give her eternal rest to the Lord and may your light shine on her forever. Give her eternal rest to the Lord and may your light shine on her forever. Give her eternal rest to the Lord and may your light shine on her forever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of us and bless the soul of Rosa Mother His Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Ale tu ai la extra la Ale la full la acta mele Au ai la extra Asta au vreo Asta au vreo